Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out today uh, in remembrance of our 9-11 event uh, that occurred across the country. Um, today we're having it at our new North Station for the first time, so thank you for coming up and sharing your time with us. Uh, feel free to walk through the building after if you'd like. I would like to introduce, we're actually conducting our Basic Six, the Hampshire County Basic Six. So you have a new addition of members of the fire service that are going through the basic of training right now with us. And we'll be doing six weeks of pretty intensive training just to get the basics of basics for firefighting. So we'd like to welcome them, welcome them and thank them for their time because a majority of them are either call force or volunteers. So I'd like to give them a thank you. I would like to share one other thing. Normally, it's, it's pretty amazing, uh, and I feel really fortunate to be the chief of such a great community. But I like to share things that come into our community, and last week I received something um, that kind of made the hair sta stand up on the back of my neck. Um, and I, it, it was hard for me to process it because I didn't feel like I should be receiving this, I should be giving it. Um, I received a package in the mail, and I don't know if you remember, but we actually had the one of the 9-11 flags come to the Hadley Fire Station. Uh, priceless. Uh, I had the opportunity to actually hold that piece of history. And I received last week <laughs> a thank you, and I brought it up here because I wanted to read it to you all, um, from a Dave Williams. And Dave Williams was on Rescue One in, on FDNY during the 9-11 event. And he lost half of his department in that incident in the North Tower, including uh, Rescue One is this really, really important crew and they, they have all the latest and great, greatest toys and equipment. And one of their captains, a Captain Talon, was actually lost in that. And he had actually just completed the plan for this new rescue truck, which went into service and is now part of their fleet in 2002. So this gentleman sent me a letter and I'll read it for you. Just read a story online about how your department has not forgot the sacrifices of the 343 brothers and sisters we lost on 9-11 with the 9-11 flag. Thank you for never forgetting. Makes me proud as a retired member of Rescue One of FDNY. Stay safe, Dave Williams. And he sent us these amazing challenge coins. Uh, that it just it, it, It's from the 20th anniversary, which was last year. Uh, and we'll be displaying them in both of our stations with the letter. So it was just really humbling and, and very thankful. So I wanted to share that with you before our event. So we also have our flag of heroes. So all 343 members that passed away 9-11 and that was donated by Patty Coombs, and we thank her. That's been in our program since we started uh, 20 years ago, and we thank her for that. That comes out every year as well. Our program actually starts at 10 o'clock with the ringing of the bells, and we'll get started in, in one minute.
Recruits, detail, present arms. Order arms. I'd like to do a moment of silence, please. O God, we remember before you this day our brothers and sisters lost on September 11, 2001. We thank you for their extreme, we thank you for their example of courage and sacrifice. In your boundless compassion, console their families, friends, co workers, and all who mourn their loss. Give us faith to see in the death the gate of eternal life so that in quite confidence we may continue our journey and serve with honor, dignity, and courage. Amen. Firefighter's Prayer. When I am called to duty, wherever flames may rage, give me the strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me, to guard my neighbor and protect his property. And in accordance with God's will, if I must answer death's call, bless with your protecting hand my family one and all. Amen. The Deputy Chief will be reading the police officer's prayer today for us. Our, all of our officers, unfortunately, are tied up right now. Uh, they wanted to be here with us today. Lord, I ask for courage, courage to face and conquer my own fears, courage to take me where others will not go. I ask for strength, strength of body, by protect others, and strength of spirit to lead others. I ask for dedication, dedication to my job, to do it well, dedication to my community, to keep it safe. Give me, Lord, concern for others who trust me and compassion for those who need me. And please, Lord, through it all, be at my side. Detail, recruits, present arms. Detail, recruits, order arms. Everybody, thank you very much for coming out and sharing this time with us. We thank you for coming by and feel free to take a look at your beautiful new North Station inside if you'd like. And our recruits will be getting back to training. So thank you again for coming. <laughs>